to go meet up with my friend Celine, who you may recognize from Thanksgiving. She's my friend from back home in California, but she lives in Maine now and she frequents the city. So we haven't had any one-on-one -on -one time the last couple times I've seen her. It's just been big group settings like Thanksgiving or Thomas's birthday. So yeah, we're finally getting some one-on-one -on -one time in. I feel like it's so important to really like hear about what's going on in someone's life and that can't really be done appropriately in group settings so yeah um i will show you my outfit and we will be out the door but also this evening I'm so excited um my friend sophia who lives close to me um she went on like an amazing trip and she just got back so i haven't seen her in a couple weeks and we are going to a flamenco festival show tonight so i'm so excited to go watch some amazing flamenco i haven't been to a dance show in a really long time so i'm gonna get all like dressed up and fiery and i'm excited <laughs> so it's gonna be a fun day a nice little saturday for you this lovely aesthetic um backdrop but this is the outfit i just got these boots resold um for super cheap so that's awesome. Just a nice little skirt. It's actually a skort, so it feels super short to me, but there are actually short shorts <laughs> underneath. And then uh, one of my Uniqlo Heat Tech shirts. Um, little Santa Maria and a leather jacket I don't wear enough because the seasons never seem right for it.
social last night. I didn't film a lot of it because they asked us not to and it was kind of annoying how many people had their phones out and it was like sort of distracting. So I didn't want to be one of those people. But at the very end, they turned the lights on and like they were saying their kind of farewell to the audience and I captured a little bit of that. So that is like what you'll see, I guess. But um, I was so inspired after that show. I just feel like I need to take flamenco classes and Sophia said if I find a class that she's willing to take it with me. So I'll be on a mission to find a flamenco class in the city. This was like a Spanish company from Madrid. They were, there were three dancers and then maybe like four or five people who either sang or played instruments or just like had these amazing clap patterns. They started out with like all three of them dancing, like everyone on stage. And then everybody kind of had their own time to shine, their own like dance number. Um, there was one with like a beautiful shawl. There was a man who I don't think I'd ever seen a man do flamenco. Like I think all the videos I've seen online have been women. So it was like so cool to see that. And then there were ones, you know, with women in pants, women in like the classic ruffly dresses. Like there was, these three dancers were so amazing. The castanets and like the amazing control they have over their feet patterns and their clap patterns and the combination of all of it and the synchronicity with the music. Like you can tell I was so inspired. Um, and I told Sophia too, like, I want all the outfits. <laughs> the clothing was so perfectly tailored for everyone and they just looked amazing. Even the main singer, she had like a little dance number almost. Um, Anna, when she first sang, the show started with her just singing by herself. Like the power, the feeling, I don't know if I've ever experienced that, but it gave me chills two different times. I always leave dance shows feeling like my faith in humanity is somewhat restored, at least for the time being. So I'm still on that high and just really happy that we went. And I get to see Sophia again today. Um, the next like three days are, the next, well, three all together are just time with Sophia, which is so nice because she was gone for a couple of weeks. So I get to just catch up on my Sophia time. And we're going to a park in New Jersey that I guess is notorious for cherry blossoms around this time. And it apparently has more cherry blossoms than the like place in Washington DC that's kind of known for it. So we're gonna go check it out. Um, Sophia is renting a car, so sweet, um, so that we don't have to like figure it out on public transport. And yeah, we're gonna go check it out. I'll bring my camera and I will take y'all along. I just got to Sofia's. She's going to pick up the rental car at the moment and we're just chilling. We're waiting, huh? She's gonna scoop us up. So I just had a nice little uh sesh. I just edited the vlog so far, pretty much. Um and yeah. Off to New Jersey. We're gonna go with her. Yeah. We're gonna go with her. Don't worry. Leslito is feeling insecure. He's not sure what's happening. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, sit down. Stay a while. There we go. Put a 
sweet, so beautiful Need nothing for the fall Let me let free from it Well, I am about to go into the Met to, to meet up with Sofia for the third night in a row. Um, we're going to see Angelique Kijo at a auditorium inside the Met. I didn't even know that they had that, but I'm very excited. I think I'm going to probably end the vlog tonight because I have a work trip in the morning. So that'll conclude my little time home here in New York City. And I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. And we'll see if I get any footage of um, tonight. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.